I am so excited to go over this idea with you because it's one of those ideas that when I was younger, I just kind of did. I just followed the rules, not really thinking, why does this work? So in this problem, we're going to talk about how to multiply decimals. And aside from the process, we're going to very briefly see why the decimal points are moving around in this process like they do. So let's get to it. When you multiply decimals, what you essentially do is you ignore the decimal points aside from just noting in the beginning how many decimal places there are in each part of the product, the multiplication problem. So I note here that we've got, let's see, one decimal place. So I'll just call one decimal. And then here we have one decimal place, right? Each are tenths. So now in my head, what I'm actually doing is I'm actually doing this problem. I'm saying what's six times four? And six times four is 24. So I do the multiplication as if the decimal points are not there. Then I take into account the fact that there's a total of two decimal places. So that's how many decimal places we're going to slide the decimal back over to the left. So that's one, two decimal places like so, just like that. Now, why this works? That's what we really need to get into. Your final answer is 0.24. Now, why this works is what we did when we ignored those decimal values. Well, you looked at this right here, and we looked at here, and we said 0.6. Let's make it 6. When you did that, you technically multiplied 0.6 by 10, right? So you took 0.6. You multiplied it by 10, and that got you 6. That's how we got to the 6. And then we took 0.4, we multiplied that by 10, and that's what got you 4. So when we ignored the decimal places, we actually were multiplying each part by 10. So you've multiplied this by 10 and that by 10. So you multiplied the whole problem by 10 times 10, or 100. Well, you can't just randomly multiply a number by 100 and expect it to be the same number. So at the end of the day, after we multiply by 10, how do we even out each multiplication by 10? We've got to divide by 10 the amount of times that we multiplied by 10. So divide by 10, whoop, divide by 10 again, whoop, and hence, that's why we move the decimal place two places. It's how many times we multiply by 10. That is so, so rad.